Hi, this is Vic. Let's do some small batch manufacturing planning. I'm going to start off with a bills of material that I've imported from one of the CAD systems that OpenBaum integrates to. What I'd like to now show you is that we can connect this bomb to a parts catalog. Now this parts catalog is one that I've already created. I may have imported it from an Excel sheet and it's important that it has part number and quantity on hand. I'll come back to that later, but it must have part number and quantity in hand. And of course I can add all the various properties such as unit cost, status, uh, description, etc., to it. Complete flexibility here. But once I go ahead and assign that, I will be able to work and create my production plan. But before, I want to point out that the default part catalog, Vic Sanchez, which is my username, is always uh, checked by default. But the one I also want to add, in addition to the default, which I like to keep, is the 3D printer part, so one I just showed you. So once I went and set that catalog to this particular bomb, I'm now going to bring in from that catalog, from the 3D printer parts, the properties that are desirable for me to add, such as description, manufacturer, and also I'm going to bring in unit cost. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and apply, and those properties will be brought in to the uh, bill of materials. And if there's any changes to those, I can reflect those in the part catalog, and they'll be automatically reflected in the bill of material. Now once I'm happy with this particular uh, bomb and I've modified it, I've added everything I wanted to and it's ready for a release, I go ahead and click the release and be aware it's final. So make a copy of this bill of materials if you're not sure. Uh, but once it's released it's final. You can't make any more changes to it. But you'll see that I have production planning here. If I click order bombs I can go ahead and add production runs. So I'm going to add a batch here, for example, of 10 units, and I'm also going to just give it a name. I'm going to call this my uh, first batch. Now, once I go ahead and save it, OpenBOM will auto automatically create an order bomb. I can click the link here, and it'll take me directly to the order bomb. And in the order bomb, you'll see that I have quantity required and quantity gap. This tells me the amount of items that I will need or the quantity of each item that I will need based on what I have on inventory and whether there's anything missing. I'm going to add now total cost to my order bomb. I can add additional properties uh, to the order bomb of course and I'm going to do because I'm going I like to know what the total cost is for all the quantities that I will be ordering and I'm going to create an open bomb formula. Doing so is very straightforward. I go ahead and edit formula once I've created a, a total cost and I'm going to now uh, add or rather uh, to add to this the unit cost uh, which is the unit cost that I brought in from inventory and I'm going to multiply that by the quantity uh, required and I'm going to apply it to all rows and once I click you see that now that formula has been applied to all the rows. I'm also going to enable a roll up so that I have now the total uh, cost. So in this case, I'm going to use the sum function and I'm going to do the sum function and apply it to the total cost. So I'm going to go ahead and choose total cost. There it is. And once I save that, now I have the total cost, 382 uh, for this particular uh, batch. Now, once I'm ready and happy to release this to production, I go ahead and click this. This is final, just like releasing a bomb. Now, once I've released this, now I can go ahead and send this to uh, the, uh, the manufacturing department for manufacturing, ordering of the parts, etc. Uh, and now, if I go back, and this is important, if I go back to my uh, catalog, the quantity of hand has been reduced by the number of quantity that was required for this particular batch, uh, which uh, we do automatically, which is a pretty cool way of managing your inventory. And then finally, uh, you can create in the bill of materials, the one that was released, you can continue to create more production orders and so on. So that's all there is and the simplicity behind uh, manufacturing planning with OpenBomb. If you'd like to learn more, visit www.openbomb.com. Thank you.